Now let's have a look at the infotainment system. When you turn the key um, of the ignition, you get this really cool uh, startup sequence. It is a bit slow and a bit, bit long to kind of start up, but to be honest, it's well worth the wait as you treat it with that very cool looking brand new TFT dash. So if you're not used to, to Ducati dashes, this is how it works. You get the switch gear here where you've got the up and down arrows, and that's how you control pretty much all aspects of the actual dash itself. Very uh, decent size uh, screen, um, quite bright as well. Um, you've got a fuel indicator there at the top on the left, and you've also got a time clock at the top right there, which is good to see, um, because some bikes obviously don't come with that fuel gauge or the clock, so <laughs> it's a nice, nice to have, but then this is aimed at more commuting. Now let's have a look at the menus here. Okay, now if you want to quickly change the riding mode, all you need to do is press and hold the indicator button, and that brings up your sport or road mode, which you can choose between there and obviously it sets there your power high and your Ducati Trax Control Level 1, power medium for road and Ducati Trax Control Level 2 so you've got those options on there and you can edit what those uh, characteristics are of those two riding modes in the menu so let's just get back out of there if you press it just once then it comes up with the main menu so you've got riding modes and this is where you can edit you know uh, how much uh, Ducati Trax Control you want on the sport or the road mode uh, as you can see you get a nice little graphic of the motorcycle as well which is nice to see but I'm just gonna not edit anything in there because this isn't my, not my bike uh, but yeah you can have a look at the info display there you can change what's, um, what is actually displayed on the actual uh, uh, trip meter which is nice to see so you got all those options in there too You've got your fuel indicator, now you can turn it into level or range. I'm gonna switch over to range to see what that looks like. Let's go back there. Now you've got your daytime rendering light settings. Now auto is obviously, it just detects whether it should be on or not, depending on what the weather is like, or you can turn it on manual. Let's leave that on auto and we'll go back here. You've also got the display settings, which allows you to change themes between dark mode or light mode. So this is what dark mode looks like, and it looks really smart look stealth um, I'd probably prefer it in this mode but if, it, if you are riding in quite bright weather then it's not quite as easy to see um, but yeah it looks really smart and it goes with the night shift theme obviously doesn't it you can change the brightness as well I'm gonna put that on max because I just chucked it on dark mode and we've also got a focus mode which gets rid of all the unnecessary information and just the essentials which is also a cool feature as well there's also a pin code there which most Ducatis have if you've not got the keys on you and you know the secret pin you can also turn on the bike. Obviously you've got your date and time and we've got turn signals here which have auto off or manual off um, you know settings as well which is quite, quite cool. Change the language there. We've also got units we can change between miles per hour kilometers the same with like the different Fahrenheit or Celsius. Change uh, the ma miles per gallon UK or what have you you know depending on what country you're in. You've also got info that tells you about the battery uh, level percentage. And then lastly, we've got the service setting, which obviously tells you when your next service interval is um, and gives you the history on that, when it was last done and all that kind of jazz. So pretty cool stuff. A really, really nice infotainment system and it's well worth the update on the new range.